Hey guys, Jimmy from um, Hauling Home. Today I'm going to show you how to change the Thedford key barrels um, in the doors. So if you have a few different types of Thedford keys, you can just change it to one key. So it's much easier because we've got about six doors around the van. They all had different different keys, so it was doing my head in. Uh, this is on our new Kokoda. We're just setting it up to do a lap around Australia, so we're leaving in pretty soon, about a month's time, so just doing final little things. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to change them. Alrighty guys, so this is the um, inside of the Thedford doors. Um, I'm gonna show you how to pull apart the lock assembly. It's pretty simple, but just take your time. Take note of what you're doing. Take photos if you need to. But uh, there's no um, instructional videos. So I thought I'd put one together for everybody out there. So undo these two screws. Make sure you hold pressure on the um, black retaining plate. So there's a spring underneath it. So what I, do, uh, what I do is lie everything out in reverse. So it goes retaining plate, spring, blue clip, and these two springs. You can just wiggle them out. Like so. White, white little lock plate, then the lock assembly comes straight out. You can leave this in there or we'll pull it out. Just, just like that. So it's pretty simple. Let's go and change the um, internal barrel now. I'll show you how to do that. So once you've got the assembly out of the door, you, now you need to remove this internal barrel. So the reason why I'm doing this is because our van came with three different combinations of Thedford keys. So every time I want to lock it up, make sure, make sure it's secure. I've got to find which keys which lock. It just annoys the hell out of me. So the part number for the locks there. I've got them from coast to coast. I'm sure you can get them from anywhere. So you just need to tell them which key number you want. So the key number's just there. I picked a picked a number that I liked and I'm running with that one. So to get the barrels out, you need a skinny bit of metal. This is off a um, wiper blade. So you just need to insert it in. Set a little hole there. Push down that gold tab at the back. That's pretty easy to do when it's out. It's a bit trickier here when you can't, can't see what you're doing. So take your time. Out. Now there's a dust seal just on the inside. Make sure that stays in there when you're replacing it. Or put the new one in. There's an O-ring there that stops you know, water, dust and everything. And there's an O-ring at the back. So once you've got it out, put the new one in. They only go one way. Tabs at the bottom and the red at the top. Push it in and you'll hear a click. Make sure the O-ring seals. And then you're done that side so let's go and reinstall it all right once you've changed the um, internal barrel and that's ready to go pop it back in there make sure once again make sure that o-rings in there stop all the dust and everything coming in put that the latch in there there's little grooves in there you can see them i don't know if you can see them there white locking latch also also some grooves in there these springs just pop them in like so making sure they're all sitting in their grooves so when the pressure pushes them down it they all lock in Just like so. And then these have the little grooves in there that hold the locking latch and the latch down as well, so it's pretty foolproof. Just like so. Hold pressure, put the screw in.
time to drop the screwdriver. Now just remember they're plastic so don't do them up too tight. Beautiful, done. Now just close the door, make sure, make sure it all works. Perfect though. Just make sure it's all locking properly. Cheers guys, if you liked, give us a thumbs up. Thanks. Ciao.